Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving my review for the new GAC film, Destined at Christmas. Um, I guess apparently this isn't a GAC original, this is just one that they got the rights for. Um, so, don't be fooled by thinking it's the orig an original by them. <laughs> um, I've not watched a lot of GAC films, this is... Probably be, probably either my first or second film from GAC Family that I've watched, um, at least Christmas-wise. I think my first one for Christmas. Um, but this stars Shay Robbins and Casey Elliott as Kim and Theo. Um, they meet during Black Friday. That's an aspect of this I did enjoy. They meet during Black Friday. They talk while they're shopping there's something that happens they get separated and the rest of the movie it's them trying to find each other because they felt a connection and um i wasn't a fan of this story um it could have worked because i thought both um both Shay and Casey did really well with their performances. Um, I thought there could have been some good chemistry there, just from what little we saw of them together. But they do this with the route they went. It the, probably three fourths of the movie is them not even really together. It's them trying to find each other and them. And they just keep missing each other. <clears throat> and. I just. I could have. I could have went for that storyline. To a point. I think there was a point where. She goes to try to get. His name from. This. Comp this person. This judge. I guess we'll call her. During this co gingerbread house competition. Because his daughter has entered it. And shh, go read. And uh, she, uh, the woman tells her, you know, that she doesn't know him, that never heard the name before. And I'm kind of confused at that point. I mean, you would think that he would have had to wrote his name down alongside his daughter's when she entered the competition, but maybe not. It just, I don't know, I feel like at that moment, they could have possibly given her his name, and they could have reconnected, and it could have been at least a little bit more of a relationship. But this one went more for the love at first sight kind of thing, where they met each other on Black Friday, they felt a connection, and then by the end, when they finally reconnect, it is like, almost like they just love each other you know they, they kiss and the other thing at the end that kind of really threw me off was they left some holes story plot holes um in my opinion because there's a there's a scene where she goes she finally figures out uh where he works at and she goes to see him like surprise him and she the the place he works at or I guess yeah, I guess owns it it's closed so she's looking through the door and she sees him sitting there at a table and uh they um she sees this other woman come up behind him or beside of him and it makes them look like they're together so she takes off upset disappointed well, by the end, when they finally meet, it just, it's like, that never happened. They just completely drop that part of the story, and they don't address it. And for me, that is something you could have built on just a little bit more. There is also, she was also supposed to be there with this other guy, um, and that just felt like it kind of just got thrown away as well by the at the end and 
I don't. I think that was because they focused too much on them not seeing each other, not finding each other. They didn't give themselves enough time to build anything else. They didn't give themselves time to fully build this relationship to make it make me feel personally that they were um, that they had that chemistry and that connection. So by the end, I felt like it could have been there. There was some something there in the begin the first part of the first quarter maybe of the movie but it just didn't land at the end because they just spent too much time on that on that storyline and um because i thought the daughter the girl that played the daughter she did really well it had good chris it had oh well i won't say good it had okay christmas theming this one you could tell doesn't have as big of a budget as hallmark so they did the best they could it still wasn't amazing but it was it was okay i've seen worse when it comes to giving you that Christmas theming and feel. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately for me, this was just a miss. I gave it, let me check, make sure, but I think I, I know what I gave it, yeah. I gave this a 2 out of 5. I thought that was fair. Um, if you love this one, if this worked for you, that's great. That's amazing. For me, I just wanted them together more. And a little less of them trying to find each other. And... Just more of them building that relationship, building that storyline with that uh, person she saw him with, and the ex that she was with at the at the end that kind of just fell to the wayside. Um, but yeah, just didn't fully work for me. I think I'm gonna stick to the movies that have celebrities in it, that have actors and actresses in it that I recognize that I know about um, and kind of skip over these uh, the ones that I don't really that I don't know anybody in because I've got so much Hallmark to watch this year I'm gonna try to watch at least off at least three to four uh, at least three on the weekends or that's when they premiere their new ones um, for Christmas and if I could get to all four I will but I'm gonna try at least do the, the three that I can watch uh, the night of, um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to be more picky with these GAC ones, also because there's not a lot of, some of these aren't originals, so, um, but yeah, I'll definitely, uh, still be having some reviews for GAC, just not as many as I was planning on, so, but that is everything from our review for Destined at Christmas, so please, Comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for our videos, and we'll see you all in the next one.